think I oh here I am. Welcome to Smash Pad, guys. On stream we got JJ versus Homstar. JJ going Marth, I believe. Anyway, Yoshi's story is an interesting pick for the neutral. It's generally considered to be in Marth's favor because he gets pretty much auto tippers off those side platforms. However, it is a triangle stage, which a lot of Sheiks really like for setting up needles. Um, needles auto cancel when you land. So the idea is you get a couple of needles charged, throw them in the air, and then you get a grab off the auto cancel. Sheik down a stock though after that somewhat of an SD onto Randall. Oh, random tipper from JJ. See, the edge guard is very linear against Sheik. He kind of just grabbed the ledge because Sheik has a billion years of lag when she lands onto the stage. So you just time the get up correctly and then you just hit her back off, rinse and repeat. Sheik's struggling to get any kind of momentum started during this stock. Tries for a roll in, doesn't get anything. Okay, basic grab conversion. Keep Marth off stage. Oh, unable to clean up that edge guard. So, yeah, what the cheat should kind of be trying to do is. Well, not SD. Go for more grabs. Um, you don't really want to set up. Yeah, there you go. Oh. You want to set up a lot of your combos off of grabs, you don't really want to go for dash attack too much. It can set up at high percent for a kill, but grab is generally a lot safer. Um, see if Sheik's able to turn it around though. Yeah, small chain grab. It's not actually guaranteed past zero, I believe. Yeah, this Marth is able to keep Sheik on the ledge really well and then cornered when she's able to finally get off ledge uh, which is very important because Mars just has a huge hitbox he can kind of just throw out there he does it safe oh doesn't do the edge guard correctly because Sheik saved double jump also was close enough to do a wall jump reverse fair oh that okay those long down tilts like those weak hit down tilts on shield are actually shield grabbable which is what you want to do Right. Okay, yeah, see dash attack pops Marth up way too high at this percent to convert to a kill. So you want to try to convert off of maybe a down throw jab if they don't crouch cancel it. Joining me on commentary is the world famous Steven Barron. Hello? Oh, right. hello Steven. Am I too loud or does it sound good to you? This is fine. Okay. So, JJ is going cheek? Is JJ going cheek? Why is it the cheat? Um, that's that's Homestar, not the cheat, Steven. That's Lucas, yeah. Wow, Pat, why didn't you say anything? I'm sorry. You're a bad commentator. I'm sorry, I am a bad commentator. So, yeah. You also gotta switch the names. This is JJ Sheik, I think. Alright, get a grab combo started. So, something I've noticed with JJ Sheik in tournament for some reason, he drops a lot of free follow ups off of Sheik's grabs. It's he really does. weird. He always does, like, the, the not the throw, which is down throw, usually, but. I always seem to do like four throws or like he flops like up throws sometimes. It's really weird. In this match, he hasn't been getting too many grabs until Ooh, his that was last. So off. nice. Yeah, falling up air. Uses double jump. That's game one. Yeah. So that's pretty much how the matchup actually goes in general. Um, Marth tries to get if he catches Sheik's jump. Um, traditionally, Sheik should die off of it. Yeah. That, at the highest level, that is usually the case. At levels like this, you won't necessarily see that. You'll see like maybe like three mistakes like that, and then they'll die or like two. <coughs> These single needles are strange, but they're actually pretty good for breaking up Mart's dash dance when he's really far away. I wanted Lucas to kind of commit more, because I felt like he was trying to play like a spacing game, even though JJ was just using the slow single needle throw. But he could have definitely got a follow up. <coughs> I don't like these dash attacks that JJ keeps going for. Yeah. I would only do a dash attack against Martha at like 80 plus percent, or like 90 percent. He was above 80, but the thing is, it was a really, really weak dash attack. There we go. There we go. We got the read, 
if he gets the forward air, he's in a pretty good spot. Okay. He needed to shark the landing a little bit better there, but um, I think Lucas landed pretty well, or Homsa rather. Alright. He gets the tech read, but doesn't get too much off of it. My friend touches my neck with his freezing hands. <laughs> he um, dukes him, is what we call it. Dukes hands. He dukes him. That up tilt to down air is the Duke setup. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> there was a tournament set where Duke got it to me. Six of the eight stocks, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so everyone calls it the Duke. <laughs> and he won, the, he won the set with it, too. Oh, my God. That was the worst part about it. <laughs> JJ, yeah. JJ needs to, A, stop getting grabbed, and B, actually be on the ground. I don't like how JJ's playing his low percents. I wish he would be more, like, patient with needle camping, because Martha's another projectile, so what is that, he going to do? He did also go attack. for grabs, but, like, get better grab setups. He did dash attack at, like, 21. Yeah. You don't even have to crouch cancel that. I don't know what that dash attack is. <laughs> JJ's kind of flubbing a lot of stuff. It's, like, odd. Yeah. Like, JJ in tournament is very weird. Like, he plays rather well if you play with, like, them personally and in friendlies or whatever. But then when he gets to a tournament, he, he just drops and flubs a lot of stuff. I don't know if it's nerves or just maybe... I don't know. But like whenever I play him in like friendlies and stuff, he doesn't usually flub as, min as much. So one thing that Homestar is actually really, really good at is movement, which is very important in this matchup. <laughs> yeah. Lucas's own movement has been like complimented by several people. I think even Jeff said like his movement is incredible, and I think Ty even agreed. And JJ just surrenders, gives him the win. 2-0. Uh, so 2-0. BTS over here trying to look like West Balls with his hoodie. Did you want to jump on commentary, JJ? 